it's me, Miss TG. I'm so glad to see you guys today again. So yesterday, we were focused on what is the difference between a balanced and unbalanced force. Today, we're gonna to focus on how to figure out what our unbalanced force results in. And in doing that, we're gonna, first of all, employ some helpers. I brought with me my nephew, Little Force, and my son, Force. So they are gonna help us with the assistance of vectors. Let's show us your vectors. All right, cool. So I'm gonna get out of their way. So what happens when forces act together? So let's see. So let's see a little force. He is going to push against force with a force of 50 Newtons. Here we go, 50 Newtons against 300. What's gonna happen? Whoa, we're gonna move to the right. We're gonna move to the right but what is our net force? Let's show you those new, let's show those vectors again. If you have moving to the right with 300 newtons and moving to the left with 50 newtons, the resulting motion was moving to the right with a total of 250 newtons. All right, you guys are awesome. What happens though if you decide to work in the same direction? Let's say Josh that, I mean, little force, Let's say that you run into something like maybe a big boulder in the road and you're gonna have to move it. So let's see you pushing that boulder with 50 Newtons. Hey, uh, 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 not so much. What about Aiden by himself pushing with only 300 Newtons? Let's see if you could do it. Huh, I mean, force. Hey, nope, not so much. But what happens if you work together? Come on, force, come on, little force. Let's see if you can push and make that boulder move. Oh, yes, yes you can. Because when forces move in the same direction, they add together. So what would our net force be, guys? I think it'd be about 350 newtons. 350 newtons, rock on. Now let's look at gravitational force. Let's say you have a gravitational force pulling you down at the rate of 250 newtons. Now, gravity is push pulling down on you, right? Little force. But the earth is pushing right back on you. So you're pretty balanced, right? You're balanced at that force of 250 Newtons. So how do we unbalance that 250 Newton force? Well, we can lift at 450 Newtons. If we lift at 450 Newtons, let's see what happens. Wow! We can lift right out of frame. You guys are awesome. So what would the net force be? Well, you're looking at 250 Newtons of the pull of gravity plus a lift of 450 Newtons. So he was able to lift at 200 Newtons worth of force. All right, guys, little force and force. I hate to tell you this, but my big brother is here. And here he comes. Now my big brother is a force to be reckoned with. He is walking around with 2,000 Newtons of force pulling him to the earth. He is just a massive dude. And guess what he's gonna do? He is going to push you. He is going to push you with a force of 300 Newtons. So what do you think? If he pushes, I mean with 600 Newtons, sorry. If he pushes with a force of 600 Newtons, and he pushed against maybe just force. Is he gonna win? Rawr! Yes, he would win. <laughs> and if he pushed, <laughs> and if he pushed against little force, even if little force is push, <laughs> pushing with all his might, is he gonna win? No, he is not going to win. But let's see if we can add our forces together. If we have our 450 Newton plus 300 Newton force. Is he gonna win? Yes, he is going to win. Our little force and our force combine together to work against our force to be reckoned with. Because when we work together, our forces add up. All right, guys. And let's give him a round of applause and take a great big bow. Little force, force, and a force to be reckoned with. You're Joshua. Yes, you are. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go ahead and 
Now it is time for you to do it yourself. Let's see what you can figure out. It's your turn. Thanks for joining us. Bye.